good ride, huh? Just like that. Just like that. Just like that and things like this. All right, we're gearing up for a doe, hopefully a doe slaughtering mission. We're gonna do a expensive muzzleloader versus cheap muzzleloader challenge. My buddy bought this property this year and he hasn't been able to hunt it at all. And he's getting a bunch of pictures of does. He's got some standing crops on it and uh, he wants some doe shots. So we're the guys for the job, luckily for us. So we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna get in the blind because I got the expensive gun and these guys are gonna sit on the ground. And we're just gonna basically hopefully prove that it really doesn't matter. Oh, you get the blind because you got the expensive gun. Yeah. Oh. Because I'm privileged. Yeah, we're just gonna see how that goes. Hopefully this thing's filled up with three, four does by the time we're coming home and we're squatting in the in the back end here. Should be, should be a good hunt. Scout's ready to track again. Perfect. Hopefully there won't be much tracking involved. And I just don't know how long this vehicle's gonna last, so I don't really want to replace it. It's funny the gun that I'm shooting costs more than the vehicle. So that's where I'm at in life. <laughs> And I just leave the funnel right in there because I know I'm going to need more. It doesn't smell great. No, I mean, it's splattering brake fluid all over the hot engine. You can see right there where it's just kind of flying out. But no fires yet, so. He literally just hit the Gwitty right there. Hit it. <laughs> That's a boy with some fresh tags in his pocket, hopefully. You get what you need in? Yep, I get two. That was fast. The woman said, Oh, I didn't even see it hardly. And I said, yeah, it's the first time I heard that one, especially in Blaze Orange. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get serious here. Yeah. This. Pull your hat down tight and let's get serious. I got a short walk. These guys got a long walk. I think they might shoot one on the way in. I don't even know where we're going. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Just walk down this road and take it to the second main deal. We'll just bebop around on our way there. Oh, we're, we're bebopping. <laughs> what would really be funny is if we just don't tell Brett this at all. And I just have you guys do deer drives on this property and push all, push all the deer out. Don't tempt us. This would be our first and last hunt here if that was the case. We're just going to do some doe management though for Brett. So join us. Alright, let's go. It's making me nervous. I don't want to go up there. I'm going to have you bring this up to me. One of you two. That feels confident. There you go. Thank you. Alright, good luck. You too. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Nice blind right there. This thing's brand new. A deer during the spring. Don't shoot any shed bugs. <laughs> I'll try that too. All right, I just got all my stuff set up. Got beans in front of us here. Some corn that doesn't look like it turned out too well. And this whole property is just pretty much a mix of cedars and native grasses. So it's perfect for this time of year, especially if you haven't standing food. I'd imagine there's deer bedded right up tight to these fields. And my buddy's in me, he's like a gun nut. And he was talking to me about these arrowhead rifles for the last couple of years. And Luke was nice enough to build us a couple of them. So. That's how we got these things in our hands. This is like the nicest thing that I own. And Luke builds custom guns. I talked to him on the phone a couple of times and you can just tell he really knows what he's doing. So that's how we found out about these things. We have been trying to give one away since September. Maybe we'll have given it away by the time this video comes around, but I think he's reached out to like six or seven people that were drawn and nobody's gotten back to him. So check them out. Like I said, they're expensive, but they're super high quality, but at the same time, kind of along the same lines as the Goodwill Challenge video we just did. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do that, but you don't need super nice equipment. If you're anything like me, I know since I was in high school, any sort of job that I had, pretty much any money that I had saved up was going towards hunting gear, so it's a pretty sweet toy to be able to use and have my buddies be able to use. Tyler shot that big buck earlier in here with this thing, and you could have shot that deer with any muzzleloader out there, but it is cool to have the confidence with how accurate this thing is. I mean, shooting groups at 100 yards, it's like they're touching with this thing. So if you got any questions, give Luke a call. They're pretty awesome rifle with a lot of parts made in America. So we got two doe tags. Ted's got two doe tags. Hopefully we can fill all four of them. It is like 50 degrees, so I'm not sure how the deer will move. All right, we just got to our bean field. Obviously, we don't hunt stuff like this very often. Really, actually, never, other than today. This is, like Jake said, this is his buddy's place that he owns down here. He hasn't been able to hunt it very much this year, so he asked us to come out here and shoot some does. We're out here now. Jake's in his little spot, and we're on our spot. Looks like we got a bean field that's about 100 yards long or so. A lot of cedars and thick bedding habitat on all sides of us, so probably gonna be some does up here. And, uh, 
short time. So we're gonna get set up in this cedar and see what happens. This video is kind of about expensive muzzle loader versus a cheap muzzle loader. Jake got the expensive muzzle loader, I got the cheap one. This one is a Thompson Center Impact. It's like two or three hundred dollars, I think. Jake's is an arrowhead rifle. I'm sure he's told you about that one already. Either one will work great. This one, Warp's killed a lot of deer with this one. Jake just killed a doe with it the other day. It's a good muzzle loader. We'll see how it performs here. We just had five does pop out on the end of the field here. Looks like they're kind of onto us though. Yeah, well, there's another deer coming in. I think it's a nice buck. four of them now. I'm gonna let them get up here a little closer I think just so if one sticks around maybe I can drop two of them right away. I'm get my stuff out right away so I'm ready to reload. I got there's more deer coming behind them still.
obviously. You can probably see the footage. <laughs> no white belly laying out there. It's just two fawns that stuck around. Deer are really starting to move now. Saw a pretty nice buck way over on the other ridge. I got a fawn that just popped out in the field with me here. I don't know if it's one of the ones that was out here before or not, but she's looking back a little bit. There was a nice buck way over on that ridge. I don't know if you can see it in the footage or not, but so I'm guessing at least one more adult that was going to pop out. Here comes a bunch of deer. Looks like a couple bucks. Young bucks. The bucks are getting bigger. Sparring up front, there's a couple nicer ones back in the corner. Little bucks going their asses still already. Fawn. Got seven bucks out here to fawn. Here, but grunting down the cedars. Opposite direction of these does. Couple more fawns coming out too. Might just try to be kind of patient here until I'm running low on camera light just to see what comes out for bucks and then clear the field by shooting. That's the big six there. That's cool. Hoping that would clear the field. There's only one buck left out there, so she ain't as big as that first doe. She's a doe nonetheless. There's definitely no shortage of deer around here. So there they go. There goes the rest of them. I haven't heard Ted shoot yet. He's got one more minute to do it. I'm gonna start packing my stuff up, go down, start working on these deer, I think. It was a pretty awesome night watching them spar and seeing all those deer at a distance. It's a big old nasty six pointer. Pretty awesome place. I see 10 of them coming back up here, but I just wanted to say quick before I get down and forget that I know this isn't your typical THP video box blind over standing crops, but when we first started the hunting public, the meeting isn't just hunting public land. We wanted to create videos for the general public that hunts. Yeah, a lot of our stuff is on public land and it will continue to be, but we support any type of legal hunting and everybody should probably do the same. We all need to get on the same page and just support each other and whether we agree with it or not, if it's legal, we just need to try to keep as many things legal as possible, at least that's the way I feel. So I was able to come out here and help my buddy out and take some does off his place. And there's a lot of areas in the country where people need to shoot more deer. This is one of them. So mission accomplished tonight. I got to watch both of them drop in the field. Doesn't get much better than that. But let's see what these guys have to say. 
Oh yeah. Seam one is there coming up. Is it a big six point? No. We saw the big six point. <laughs> we saw, yeah, two or three of those. Early in the night? Mm, no, not really. 30 minutes before dark. There's two big six pointers out here then. Oh, yeah, see. Uh, probably 20 some. No shots? Mostly bucks. <laughs> That's a good problem for him, I guess. I think it didn't come out. Might not. It didn't look like it come out. Be some good meats on her. How was that blind? First time I ever shooting out of one of them? Uh, besides our crappy one that we got. Where we <laughs> do, huh? Uh, yeah. It's a little it was a little different than that, though. Uh, Honestly, there's just a bunch of dead flies in there. It's kind of gross. I just opened up all the windows so I could actually hear something. But what was she eating on this stuff? That's what the one was eating that we saw, that buck that we saw. It's just a natural thing. Looks yeah, like it was eating on this. Grow a lot of place. Whatever this was. It's called woolly lambs here. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they like it, and so. It's called talented weed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess in the, this situation, the expensive gun won. But <laughs> it's more just like what who had deer come by you know within range really yeah. the setup's more important than the gun well it's fun to come out to a place like this where there's no pressure like yeah. those the bucks that came by tonight uh -huh. i thought for sure as soon as they popped around and were like there was nothing between us and them i figured they were gonna pick us out like that uh -huh. but they just kind of looked over there <laughs> and then just Man. kept right on their way and went right by us at like 20 yards and then they worked uh -huh. off i mean we didn't but, have any co cover at all. I mean, we just sat down next to a cedar tree. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. This place literally hasn't been hunted all year unless somebody was trespassing out here. So. Yeah. And you, yeah, you can tell by the way. <laughs> and it's like, imagine if it was snowing and negative degree temperatures. Like uh -huh. how many deer probably would have piled out? Oh it's yeah. 50, 60 degrees out. Do you see this guy shooting anything uh -huh. over there? Uh -huh. No. But I could. I looked, peeked over there one time, and there was a bunch of deer standing out there by him too. <laughs> oh, so he's being picky. He like, must yeah. have a buck tag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't have no buck tag, but gonna get these things taken care of head back to the house and then i think we're gonna head out one more time in the morning with uh ted's buddy Rhett. not just ted's buddy he's my buddy too i guess he's my buddy too <laughs> nah he don't like you <laughs>